People love to hear a great lie that supports their bad habits. And of course, producers of meat, eggs, and dairy, the, the sellers, the profiteers from those industries can simply hire scientists to build the case for them. Consuming meat, eggs, and dairy it is a bit like dumping nasty diesel fuel into a high-performance gas-powered sports car. Um, this is what most people are doing. And over time, the entire works gets gunked up. Just like the car would stop running, the body, our vehicle, gets plugged up. The arteries, the kidneys, all the body organs are negatively impacted by a diet high in animal sourced foods. The person who finally convinced me to flip the switch, go 100% plant-based nutritionally was Dr. Ruth Heydrich. Highly recommend you check her out. Her first of five books is entitled A Race for Life. And after she skipped chemo, skipped radiation, went on an entirely plant-based diet to heal her stage four cancer, breast cancer, well over three decades ago, she's going strong. And what I've noticed that most people seem to be doing is the opposite of Ruth. It's like they're in a race to death. There are people who think that humans are sort of the mammal version of cockroaches. We can live on virtually anything. Those people almost seem to dedicate their lives to proving they can live on garbage. While we are extremely resilient, uh, we can be self-healing um, as long as we create the right conditions in our bodies. Why bother doing that? How many millions of bodies stacked up from people dying of basically malnutrition, overconsumption of bad foods, how many do we need before we stop trying to prove that we can live like cockroaches? Good news, you deserve better than the shit that's been shoveled to you. Simply change your mind about what you're going to eat. Odds are you've been fed a lot of lies and crap food for most of your life. The animals we share the earth with do not deserve to be abused and have their heads cut off just for your dining pleasure. If you truly believe that the animals need to die for you, I challenge you to watch the documentary Earthlings all the way through. Then maybe follow that up with the documentary Forks Over Knives, which does include Dr. Ruth Heydrich. And to kick up your game um, and, and maybe inspire you, watch the very new documentary Game Changers. Standing up to the lying, greedy powers that be is as simple as changing your mind and changing what's on your plate. It's really not that difficult for scientists to rig up studies to pro produce the results they want to see. Um, there's a medical doctor who wrote a book called Proteinaholic. His name is Dr. Garth Davis. He's one of the newer doctors, really super supportive of a, um, an all plant-based diet, but he's excellent at picking apart the research to determine if it's misleading, whether it's credible, who paid for it, and so forth. And Dr. T. Colin Campbell, a PhD in biochemistry, um, with a great deal of history. He used to work with for the FDA. Um, he wrote a bestseller, I believe it was in 2006, called The China Study. He too is fantastic at picking apart research to determine 
whether, whether it's misleading or credible. Uh, he also followed that book up with an excellent book called Whole, Rethinking the Science of Nutrition. If you simply get on board with the absolutely best human nutrition there is, whole foods, all plant-based, nominally processed, preferably organic, the benefits will go on and on if you just let them and tune in to what's happening. At the same time, you'll be making the world a better, cleaner place for everyone else. That is it for this video. Class dismissed. But seriously, thank you for watching. I hope you pick up something from these videos. Uh, like, hit the subscribe button, share them with people who might benefit 